Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family, and thank you for coming back to the channel and <clears throat> being very attentive. Well, we got some hot rumors out there. I don't know how true it is. But poor sugar, I guess, instead of you flying to um, <coughs> Lagos, Nigeria, to catch Simon in the action, <coughs> you look like you might be <laughs> needing to stay in Atlanta. Because quiet is as kept, long as I'm going to spell it out, or spell it out, or speak it out. Simon, is he got his eye on Quad Web, girl? Uh huh. From Merit Medicine, from Sister Circle. What else? Her cookbook, Quad Web, is who I'm talking about, girl. And why was only you and Cynthia invited to her birthday party? I ain't seen Kenya there. I ain't seen Candy there. I didn't see uh, Marlo there. Only thing I saw was Cynthia. And you, Portia. So, I guess Quad don't like the other women. And I'm just speculating. I don't know. But I don't see them there. Okay? And they're all from Atlanta. So, you got the invitation to go out and hang with baby girl Quad. That's Quad in the middle. I don't know who these other women. I don't know the woman in the black. I don't know the woman in the blue. And I damn so don't know the woman in the white. Who are they? Family, can you help me out? And this woman that got on that uh, silver and black. Who are these women? Are they from another reality show? And what's so funny, Portia? What are you laughing about? Honey, baby, girl. And I heard Simon ain't too happy with you either. It's floating on the um YouTube Floating in on YouTube streets. That Simon is not pleased. And he is eyeing. Quad well. Mm hmm. And I believe Quad is a little younger than you. Mm hmm. Because Simon like a young. He don't like him uh, over the hill like you are per se. Because he like them young 20, 30 year olds. Probably need to stop at 35. And I believe the only reason why he like younger women is because he think he can manipulate them. Okay, show them a little bit. And uh, they go crazy over him. Okay, because they really look at Simon as a sugar daddy. Nothing more, nothing less. But a sugar daddy. All right. <clears throat> and I guess you his sugar mama. Well, no, that'll be a, a cougar like trying to get somebody younger. Well, we don't know. Maybe you his plaything at the time. Because we have been noticing. <clears throat> and I don't know if you did it on purpose. Or you really, maybe Simon took the ring from you, girl. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Because Dennis McKinley took the ring from you. And then you start messing with Simon. Quiet as a skip. Is Simon getting tired of you, girl? It's Simon getting tired of you because I'm still seeing him playing golf. And it seems like every time he playing golf, he's frustrated. Even though he say he got a trainer, we never see the trainer. I mean, we saw the trainer when he was out there trying to box his way and run his way. Try and emulate or imitate the movie Rocky. When he was out there trying to, you know, do the motions of, um, what do you call it? Uh, boxing, but you should have had one of them big old things that you hit the what well, I guess it's called a punching bag. That's what you should have been doing because right now you're looking like who a little Easter bunny. That's what you're giving me all these pastel colors that you can put in a little girl's dress. You, you I don't know. Bad if Portia dressed you, she should be whipped up the crack of her behind because she did not do a good job. You look more like feminine. She's trying to bring the feminine out of you. Or something. Because them pastel colors are just screaming. Easter time. Easter Sunday. Easter dresses. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't look flattering on you at all. And who told you to put on them white pants, honey? 
They make you look like you're bigger than what you are. And I know it seems like you don't lost some weight not in that stomach, but you keep smoking them cigars, drinking that brown liquor, and eating everything greasy. Okay, you must have been had somebody with well, some roots down here, some lineage in the South. Because, boy, you love to eat. And we don't saw it and smoke as well. But I'm like, who are these six women? We do know two of them, Portia. But we know three of them, Quad and Cynthia Bailey. And Quad is a kid loud, so I'm going to speak it out. Cynthia, you and Kim ain't got back together, girl. What is going on with y'all relationship? I know Candy and Eva was trying to put y'all together. I guess Kenya pulled them aside and said, hell to the no, no, no. And my Sheree voice. I can't, I can't fool with Cynthia. I just can't do it. She ain't got it all. She ain't playing with a full deck. And if it's not mistakenly, uh, <laughs> you try to get Kenya to talk on camera, Cynthia, now you know better. Mm-mm. Cynthia said she had no problems. With telling us that Kenya was mad at her or they are never going to be the same. I was like, what? And then Candy came on some talk show saying that, uh, or sh- some short interview she was doing about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because, you know, she was a promo press queen uh, for season 14. Along with her uh, colored man play she, she was a uh, part of uh, producing. But um, Candy went on to say that. Kenya, she didn't have to look at the ultimate girls uh, trip that you and her were a part of, meaning Kenya and Cynthia. She said, well, she told the interviewer once they got home, Cynthia told her her side and Kenya eventually told her her side. And she still love both of them and she hope they can get it together. But right now we seeing them apart. Cynthia's doing her thing. She's over at Quads. Uh, birthday party. I guess it's a forty-first birthday party. And Simon is just on her down. How I know you would say. <laughs> well, let's just say a little birdie was telling me he was just pretty occupied. All right, and if I can ever get a hold of those pictures, I would definitely get them and put them on this channel. But Portia, you got competition, girl. Concord is a bad mama jamma. It looks like she don't lost some more weight. Okay, so right now you can't solidify uh, Simon on a reality show, and for what reason? I don't know why he want to be on it. He's not. He's not appealing at all. He don't really like to talk. So what? part could he possibly play on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? He need to be talking to Todd. But then again, I guess Candace not really for you these days, Portia. I guess she's not for you these days. Because um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Todd developed that uh, interviewing show that him and Shamia may have put together she was an interviewer and it's about the housewives husbands and uh Simon could participate over there he of course he would be the grandfather over there of those two middle-aged men and um well I'm getting close to middle age Aaron and um Ralph but get out of my pocketbook but uh Definitely, Ralph can use some discipline, uh, but he wouldn't be getting it from OG, old time, old father time, because father time ain't got his business in order when it comes to relationships. So, we, you can miss me with all that, even though it would have been a fun, ooh, it would have been a fun maze of adventure if we had Greg Lee still here on earth, we had Apollo Nada, we had uh, what was the other person? Shoot, it was ta- Peter Thomas, okay? Peter, Peter, Pumpkin, Peter Thomas. Now, that would have been a lineup, and they would have been teaching Todd and Apollo something, okay? Something to the effects of how you get down in these streets, how you play on your significant other without getting caught. It would just been so much commentary they could have went over and... Um, Todd and Apollo should, could have been sucking all that energy up, all that absorbing all that wisdom they would give them. But we know that's too far 
uh, out of our hands, our reach. But Todd got something going on with Shamia where uh, the housewife husbands come on and talk about uh, a particular episode that they once were a part of or at at each episode they would do like candy do not speak on it it would be shamia hosting uh the three husbands of the show and i'm like well 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 that's like the blind lean the blind but shamia was going for the throat especially towards uh ralph and um todd Little time Timmy Todd, okay? Little Timmy Todd, Todd Tucker, okay? Tiny Tim Todd Tucker is what they call him, alrighty? But yeah, those are the sad rumors that, that we got going on now. Can't really say uh, uh, it's a foe or a friendly reminder of something coming to fruition. I don't know which one, but it's, it's a good one, though. Oh, Lord, I said quad and uh father time mm. i don't know i don't know about that i don't know but at least we can say quad has been on you know a, a head hosted her uh well i'm gonna say own show but she was a part of a uh all black cast called sister circle and it was doing what it needed to do at the time it was doing it and uh, she does have notoriety about being on Married to Medicine. Uh, she's an author of a cookbook. Can't say what else she's doing because I don't really follow her. I would just follow where the drama is. And the drama that is being unfolded here on this uh, video is that Cynthia can't keep no friends. So she had to bounce back to uh, Portia. Which was in the whole guest realm of Quad's birthday party. Okay. So I'm like, mm, two has been two uh, people that are not part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta umbrella no more. Mm. Because I know the thing Cynthia been doing around here is introducing us to another pocketbook or purse, uh, a full leather type um, ensemble of different color. They look more like fall color pocketbooks, but hey, it depends on how you are. You can rock stuff in fall when it's uh when it's summertime. When it's summertime, you can be rocking it in winter. So it just is what it is. But I like, I don't know. That could be a good rumor, y'all. But I don't know, cause Claude is not really on TV anywhere now, is she? And we can't seem to get Portia back on TV. I know they they said, and it could have been a rumor as well, was that they wanted um, Portia to drop Simon because he added nothing. He brought nothing and he added nothing to the soup of the mixture of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And he definitely, well, I meant to say Portia family matters, but he was in hopes of getting on like Fallon had got him on previously um a season where he wanted her to be in the spotlight so he could be in the spotlight tagging behind her but as you can see we only had that one season with father time and to me and to oh that was enough it was enough to just see him that one season because when we had to see the embarrassment the whole derailing of a sitcom or spinoff show that could have been very positive burst up into flames, okay? And it had Simon's name right in it. Burning, burning. We were saying, burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno, burn, baby, burn. Burn that mother down, yes, to the ground. Woo, we don't want to see it. Just like Portia don't talk about it. She don't erase it from all her social media platforms. She don't go on anybody's show and they bring that up. That's a taboo of a subject that should never be talked about again. And I'm all for it, Portia. I'm all for it. We don't have to ever mention Family Matters again. Because, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, I didn't say Portia, did I? I said Family Matters, okay? Because that was a really good hit show. A lot of black families staying in Chicago somewhere, living the middle class life, or you know, y'all, y'all, I'm sure y'all know it. But anyway, yeah, it was almost like that. Uh, spinoff never happened. That new show never happened. 
And I'm like, please don't bring it back. Please don't. Please don't bring it back. Because they don't look like she mended no fences with her current biological family, father's side of the family, or her mother's side of the family. Only thing we got is Miss Diane out here acting like a little hoe. Pretty much an old hoe at that. But I can only give it where I can call it. Because she damn sure ain't acting like she's Portia Mama. Because if she was really Portia Mama. And godly like she said. She wouldn't be having Portia shacking up with no man. Because right now he leasing her and thinking about buying. He leasing her body and her company. And thinking about buying it. Because if he was so faithful and upright as a man he should have been married her hell it's been a year been a year and Portia at one time when she was on the camera house show saying her and Simon were dating I'm like now how can you go from being engaged to getting married to you're courting and you're dating even Tamara Harden fall for that shit she had to strain Portia out oh I was like Portia always balling backwards thinking backwards and it's just a backward thing for Portia all together but that's all I got in this video, guys. I just wanted to bring it to you that we have a rumor out here that Mr. Father Time, with his wandering eye, may be setting his eyes on Quad Web. How true it is, I do not know, but it was interesting. <laughs> it was an interesting rumor to, um, what do you call it, take part of and have a discussion about. I'm like, I would say poor Portia, poor Portia, but I can't. I can't say poor Portia because she put herself in this predicament. Trying to chase a man and his money instead of letting the money and the man chase her. Okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. It was pretty shady. That's where it was meant to be. And we're all doing it on entertainment purposes. And I got a lot more to come. I got a lot more to come. I'm talking about Portia. Because as long as her people keep coming over here trying to get me straight, that makes me go even harder and uh, want to talk about her. Because her fans or her fanatics should be telling her to straighten up and fly right. I mean, why do we have Candy working her ass out on whatever adventure she's trying to get in to make money? Why do we have Kenya working her ass out trying to spruce up the uh, scenery or the background or what pays her? You know, trying to get people interested in the Real Housewives of Balloon now and going forward. We got Marlo up there trying to move in a house uh, instead of her duplex or condominium she was once in because she need more space and she want to have more time she's even thinking about acting hey Cynthia Bailey was over on Lifetime acting a small cameo part but that ain't the that ain't the point she's out there showing and proving and trying to increase her income but we got Portia over here trying to run up a so-called unverified undocumented Liberian African man that's been married not only three times and probably had many, many, many failed relationships prior to that as well. And she wants to be number four. Number four as his wife when he couldn't get the first three right and probably had, like I said, bad relationships just being a companion with somebody. All right. And he's a little bit selfish because if he saw you as his queen to be, if he saw that he saw and felt that God brought you to him and you are going to be his queen until you are both die of natural causes or whatever, you know how they say to death do us part for sickness and health and all that good stuff. When you have thought, when you have even phantom that he would have put her name on that house that he just bought who does that and why why are you getting something because atlanta don't think of it as community property it just looks at as it as if you attained it before marriage then she can't get it from you huh is that what you're saying simon get what you can in your name so if you do decide to put a a marriage certificate on Portia. She won't be able to take your house, honey. Hmm. That's a smart way to think of it, Portia. I'm giving you clues, baby. If only you listen. If only you listen. But I'll see y'all guys next video. Bye-bye.